Uh, 14th of February is celebrated all over the world as St. Valentine's Day. St. Valentine's Day is the day that this uh, priest, this man called Valentine, was mothered. He was mothered on the 14th of February. And up to today, this day has been celebrated as Lover's Day. Now, let me talk a little bit about this. St. Valentine was a man who loved to see the young people get married. And on this particular time and period, there was a, 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 someone called Claudius, King Claudius. So King Claudius was very excited to see the young people being involved in war. So these young persons that were uh, involved in war in the, in, in the Roman Empire, they were actually, you know, you know, you know, people who could fall in love. So he just went ahead to ban them from getting married. That the young people should rather be used for war than for marriage. Then, you know, you know, Valentine was not happy about that. And since he was a priest, he had to secretly wait these guys. And as he was doing like that, this uh, 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 guy got pissed up and decided to do what? Decided to imprison him. So, and finally, when he imprisoned him, he fell in love with the jealous daughter. And then he wrote a letter to the jealous daughter and rounded it up like, uh, you know, you know, yours, your love, Valley. You know, you know, this, that, well, today we always hear people say, your Valentine, you know, you know, and things like that. So finally, he was, you know, arrested, uh, murdered, uh, through beheading. He, he said he was chopped up. And since then, the Christian community decided to put this day as a day to honor love, to honor commitment in relationship. So St. Valentine's Day is a day where people actually are supposed to reflect on their commitment of love for one another. So it's a day that you're supposed to sit down with your spouse, you evaluate your relationship, you evaluate your, your, your marriage, you evaluate how you know, your love you have for one another. That's what the day means. It, it, it doesn't really mean getting out of the street, you know, having sex before marriage. It, it is wrong. That's not what the day is actually meant for. It's meant for reflecting, revisiting your vows and trying to see how you can better up your, 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 your marriage. Thank you very much. You know that. It is not right to only show love to your spouse on Valentine's Day. No, you no, know, no. Love to your spouse is supposed to be a continuous thing from January 1st to December 31st, and then you kick up again from January 1st to December 31st. We are not supposed to only come out on the 14th of February to show love to our spouse. If we do that, that is not the idea behind Valentine's Day. The idea behind Valentine's Day is for us to show commitment to one another in our marital relationship. Hear me very well. In our marital relationship or in, if you are, uh, you know, a fiance, you also show commitment to one another. And we should stop pretending. We should stop making in such a way that people see love as something else. But love is supposed to be 24 hours. It's supposed to be daily, it's supposed to be weekly, it's supposed to be monthly, it's supposed to be yearly. That's what this I, this, this is all about. Thank you. Okay, this love portrays three kinds of love. Because when we talk about love in marriage, love in relationship, there are three kinds for those who are married. But there are two kinds for those who are not married. Okay, and there is one kind for those who are under one category. So let me just mention three types of love that are practiced in marriage. We should be exercised on Valentine's Day. Now, number one is what we call agape love. Agape love is divine kind of love. Agape love is God's kind of love. Even in this kind of love, giving is involved. The Bible said that what? That for God so loved the world that he gave 
his only son. So during this program, during this St. Valentine's uh, period, it could be a period of exchange of gifts. We are going to talk about that. And also I want us to let, let know that there's a second kind of love that's called filial love. Filial love is friendship. Filial love is, is, is a kind of love that has to do with companionship, friendship. So it's hard for a couple to actually experience joy in their marriage without filial love. And then there's what we call eros love, which is the third kind of love, which is sexual love. You know, for couples, there must be a sexual activities that accompany their love on a daily basis. So three categories of love, three types of love should be expressed here. The agape love, which is the love for brother, love for, for, for humanity. The, 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 the filial love, which is friendship love. And then lastly, what we call the eros love, which is an emotional, which is sexual love and things like that. But if you haven't married yet, you are supposed to end just at the level of the second kinds of love, which is agape love, and then we have the filial love. Because premarital sex is forbidden to those who are not married. That's what we're trying to say. Thank you. Okay, if your partner does not offer you a gift on that day, the issue here is, does your partner loves you? I want to say it depends. Has he been offering you gifts? Has she been giving you gifts? If she has been giving you gifts, then probably, number one, he or she does not have, which is understood. Number two, he or she may just have forgotten. You know, it has nothing to do with the love you have. Besides, if you have been a wonderful couple, if you've been a loving couple, then it means that you've been giving to one another because this is what I say oftenly, that there's no genuine love without giving. If someone tells that I love you without giving, that person has a problem, okay? But we have to know that when you love someone, you give, just like God loves the world until he gives. But if the person does not give, it doesn't mean he doesn't love you. You just need to assess the fact that whether the person has or the person does not have. But what we do, what I encourage people to do is that they shouldn't really mind about so much the weight of a gift. Yes, if you, you can have a gift of 50 francs. It's a gift. The most important thing is your heart, not even the gift you are giving. I can give a gift to somebody that's really much, but my heart is not there. And somebody can give another gift to another person, which is a little bit, uh, 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 just, just like 50 francs, just like 100 francs, but the heart is there. So the most important thing that I want our audience to know is that it is the heart that matters and not the what you give that actually matters. <laughs> Okay, my advice to those celebrating uh, St. Valentine's Day, Lover's Day, 14th of February, is take it easy. That's my advice to you. Take it easy. Don't do in such a manner that this day, this period, can actually affect your home. I think you have to understand one another to a point where you get to know the surrounding, how your own surrounding is. Don't expect something that may not come from your spouse. No. Your love for one another is there. Build your love for one another and keep loving one another and allow these things. You know, if you don't have anything, just get commitment. Just commit yourself to a relationship and things like that. For those who are not yet married, I advise you not to destroy yourself because it's been said that today, Many ladies are divergent. Many men are getting into uh, sexual immorality. You risking yourself because, like I said, if you want to destroy your future, commit fornication. If you want to destroy your home and your family, commit adultery. Take it easy. Take your your you know, take your time. Be one another. You can talk. You don't need necessarily need to go get something and go gift whatever. But evaluate your relationship. If you are married, evaluate your marriage. If you are courting, evaluate your, 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 your relationship with one another. And you may be able to come out, you may be able to discuss things that are very, very important. What are we saying here? Rather than just going out for gifts, can you be able to come back home? Can you take a stroll outside with your lover and then try to talk about your relationship? Talk about what is not going, talk about what is going, 
talk about things that you see that are important for you to talk about, and that's how you do, and it's, it's done for the day. Thank you very much. Okay, now, my advice to people, especially on what to give to people on this day, is very simple. I'm just going to give an example of what we are doing in Dominion Singles and Married Academy. We have the young persons who are in Yaoundé. We've invited them and they are with us. So we prepared a gift to them. Our relationship is a lot of agape. It's a agape relationship. We have trained them to, to become excellent wives, excellent husbands. So when we invited them, we just make them a Valentine uh, 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 a gift. Yes, a Valentine's package. There is a content inside here. I'm not going to tell you the content, but I want to let you know that this is... A Valentine gift to a young person, a youth. And if you look at this, this a flower. This is an amazing thing. You can give this to your spouse. It's going to be wonderful. I've met to understand that that the flowers that are used on Valentine's Day or pre-Valentine's Day, they are second just to the one that we use in December. Yes, we mean there's a day that people really buy flowers. So I bought this. My wife and I we bought this. The entire school, Domino Singles and Rad they've got this, and then they are now going to give it as a sign of love that they have for the young people in the ministry or in, in, in the school. So that's the way it is. What do you have to give to your spouse? Uh, you, I shouldn't be telling you what to give, but you know what your spouse loves. You can get out there, you, you, you get a nice, uh, you know, get, just get to know what your spouse like. Yes, get to know what the person that is the love of your life likes. And then you get it. But if it goes beyond your capacity to purchase it, you have to be careful not to enter the depths. Because real love does not put you in depths. It brings people out of depths. So I don't accept that you get to buy things that are so costly. Now, do you know something? A flower like this is a hundred, I, I don't know, it's a hundred, two hundred, yes. Yeah, two hundred francs. And this is already a gift. Every woman loves to receive this. Eh? And then now, uh, those who don't have money, go. There is, there is, there is just this, this uh, a palagier. It's, it's just five for, it's just 50, 100. Buy it for your spouse. Yes. Just simple biscuit around. You know, love is too powerful. That is, is not depicted by the, the quantity of things that you give to people. It's the heart that gives. I encourage you not to be depressed. I know women love these days. They want things to happen, but please don't be depressed. Allow your spouse to just give you what he has so that you don't get into trouble and destroy your marriage for something which is not the way it is. Many people have just reversed the meaning of this day. Yes, many people have, have reversed it. But I want to let you know that this is a day where the two persons have to sit down and evaluate, take their commitment, try to evaluate their commitment in the marriage. And as we see, things will go friendly and everything is going to be so wonderful. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And may God help you to be committed in your relationship, to be committed, committed in your marital relationship, and to move on in Jesus' name. Amen.